good for this. Uh, let me open my WhatsApp. Wow. Uh, uh, this is this is surprising. I think my phone just froze. So yeah. Let me let me restart it. While I restart it, um we can go through something else for the moment. And then we'll go through that. So this is basically what we're gonna go through for today. You know, we have our question two, which is like vectors. Question three, it's slightly, slightly, it's like a mixture of your vectors and Newton's law. And question four, which is Newton's law. Uh, I think question two quickly. You wanna do question two? No, so I think that's the one that I sent you. Yeah, that's the exact one I sent you, sir. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, but slightly different, slightly different. Slightly different. Well, but that's mm. convenient. So, here on question two, maybe let's let me do this one and then you can. Oh, if it's slightly different, right? Um, can you send it in the WhatsApp group? Um, so yes, sir. I'll do this one. You'll send that one in the WhatsApp group, and you guys, you guys can, you guys can try it on your own, and then if it's if it's difficult, like you can just ask me, and then I'll send you a video explaining it again. No. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I just got. I just got. I just got your 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 message. Or maybe. Maybe we can do it the other way around, but either way, let me let me open in this picture. Okay. Um, so for question two, we say we have forces P and Q and that run on our Cartesian plane. Uh, the first question is obviously, can you define the term resultant force of two forces? Resultant of two forces. Um, Jason, can you can you can you define that? Um. Mm. No, nah, it's exactly the same question. It's the sum of all forces added together. Yeah. Um, um, 2.1.1 magnitude of P. Oh. Nah, it, it's exactly it's exactly the same question. It's just that it doesn't have this question. Um it does not have this question as well. But it only has these two questions. Uh, anyway, run out of time, doesn't matter. We can, we can do this in less than 10 minutes, I think. So let's continue. So obviously when they say the resultant of two forces, they just mean the sum of two forces. And that's where you get your marks. So now, I've, I, I think this is a fairly easy question because the best part is it is actually drawn to scale. So you know that for vector P, you have two components your x and y component and your x component is here that's going to be like two newtons and your y component is here that's going to be four newtons your x component for q it's negative three and your y component 
for q is negative one. So to be honest, this is a much easier question than the ones that we're used to, but let's just continue. They say, use a calculation to determine the following, the magnitude of vector P in force unit. So basically, you remember, um, if you look at the structure, you can see that this is a, a 90 degree angle and this is also a 90 degree angle. So you can use Pythagoras theorem to find this because this is gonna be a hypotenuse or R, but let me just call it hypotenuse. And this is gonna be a side X. And this is gonna be a, oh yeah, let me, let, let me not call it X. Uh, This is going to be, if we're focusing on this angle, this is going to be adjacent side. Adjacent. And this is going to be an opposite side. When we're focusing on this angle. So if you look at it, you know that your hypotenuse, which is R, this is this is Y and this is X. Your hypotenuse, you know that R squared is equal to X squared plus Y squared. And that's it. You just take this equation, you substitute in, you're gonna have R squared is equal to um, the square, the square root of four squared plus two squared. And that's gonna give you, um, what's my calculator? So yeah, let me just quickly get, get my calculator. Oh, can you just calculate that first? Quickly. It's going to be the square root of 20. Square root of 20. Square root of 20. Isn't it the square root of 20? Because 4 squared, is that, that's going to be 16. And 2 squared, that's going to be 4. Yeah, so. And it's going to be the square root of 20. And when you when you change it to decimals, it's gonna be four point four seven. Isn't is that what you got? Or yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so it's gonna be four point four seven. And then we're gonna go to our next one. Um they say the direction of Q measured clockwise from the positive Y axis. So um, we know that clockwise, usually we measure, we're used to measuring our angles anti-clockwise, meaning in this direction from the X axis. Now we're gonna measure it anti-clockwise Sorry, we're gonna measure it clockwise from the y-axis, meaning, and we're gonna go all the way from here and to here. Now, there's there's multiple ways to do this, but what what I can suggest is that we can actually measure this angle. And say 360, um, not 360 necessarily, um, because this part is also included. If we say 360, we're gonna get this angle here. 
So that's going to be 270. So 360 minus 90, because we're going to have to add this 90 here. Um, what's 360 minus 90? It's going to be 270. So we can measure... We can measure this angle, our usual angle from the x-axis all the way up to Q. And we say 270 because this part is also included. We're going to say 270 minus this this the angle that we're going to get here and when we do that we're going to get the angle from here to here but anyway let's let me let's try that so this is going to be we have negative three and negative one so we all know that the tangent of an angle theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent side. Um, y over x most of the time. <clears throat> so when this is our angle, the opposite side is this side it's this side and the adjacent side is this side. So what we're going to do now, we're going to say negative tangent. We're going to do the reciprocal of minus 1 over 3. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, you know what? Um, let's end this. Let's end this meeting now, huh? and come up, come to the next one, and then I'll, I'll try to re-explain this because I think I'm seeing something different now. So I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop.